Welcome to Issue Tracker for Outlook and SharePoint. In the second part of this video demonstration, we will explore how individual technician can raise trouble tickets from within their Outlook to one or more of the administrator-defined SharePoint ticket lists. If you click the Raise Ticket drop-down menu, you will see all the administrator-chosen SharePoint ticket lists. You can simply click one of these SharePoint lists to raise a trouble ticket from the selected email in Outlook to SharePoint. This is the new ticket form that allows you to feed more information on the trouble ticket before it is generated in the SharePoint list. The caller name and email address are already extracted from the particular mail item, whereas the phone and company of the caller are extracted from the global address list. Here, you can tag this trouble ticket with a problem category, problem type, and status value. By default, you are automatically assigned as the responsible technician for this ticket. But if you wish to assign to another technician, you can do so by choosing one from the global address list or address book. You can also set the due date by which this ticket should have resolved. On the right side portion, these are custom fields that your administrator had deployed to allow you to feed additional information as required by your help desk. Let us look at the SharePoint site in a web browser and see how the trouble ticket has come up. Here you see that the SharePoint fields are populated with the metadata information extracted from the corresponding Outlook email. You will also notice that attachments, the formatting and style of the body field, the embedded images and links are also retained in the SharePoint ticket item. Because a ticket is generated, an automated notification email is triggered to be sent out to the caller confirming about the ticket allotment. Notification about the ticket assignment is also sent out to the responsible staff. As I had assigned myself, I have received this assignment notification email. These header entries in the description field informs help desk staffs about the notification, when was it sent, and to whom. If you look at the processed email item in Outlook, notice that it is flagged as completed. An embedded hyperlink in the body field is also inserted, containing the ID of the ticket item of the SharePoint. Clicking this link would open the particular SharePoint ticket item in your default web browser. You will also notice that the email is tagged with the ticket number in the subject. With this ticket number embedded in the subject of original email, Issue Tracker add-in can now track any subsequent email conversations that might follow in Outlook. As long as this ticket number is intact in the subject, when sending out response to caller or when caller replies back to the help desk, Issue Tracker add-in will automatically process and associate it with the correct ticket item of the particular SharePoint list. This means the ticket item and description field will be updated live automatically as and when a response sent out or received. Let us try an example. I will reply to the caller asking some more questions on the problem. As you can see here, my response is automatically updated in the actual SharePoint ticket item. There is even a copy of the actual email response which I had sent to the caller. Let us see what happens when the caller replies back, providing further information to the problem he was facing.
as there is the presence of the ticket number in the subject, issue tracker will update the corresponding share a point ticket with the new response automatically. This greatly enhances the productivity of your help desk as no technicians are required anymore to monitor the mailbox for new replies from caller nor there is need to add and update the new information to the relevant ticket manually in SharePoint. Issue Tracker Add-in in Outlook captures the complete course of the conversation chronologically from all email communications received or sent in due course. The end result is a consolidated view where all the responses to a support request are collated together with redundant and repeated conversations filtered out to present only the relevant communications. So far, we have seen how to raise troubles tickets from Outlook to SharePoint by selecting and clicking one of the SharePoint lists from this drop down. What if I want tickets to be raised automatically without requiring any input from my side? Exciting, isn't With the ticket automation feature, you can set issue tracker add-in to monitor any number of Outlook folders such that it processes incoming mails to generate trouble tickets to specified share a point list automatically. For this demonstration, let us specify an Outlook folder for automatic publishing say, the inbox folder of my support mailbox. Here, I can specify a default value for help desk fields such as the problem category, problem type, and status. These default values will then be set on new trouble tickets generated from incoming emails of this folder or mailbox. I can also choose a technician who will be assigned by default to any trouble ticket generated out of this folder or mailbox. And of course, you need to specify the particular share a point list under which the trouble tickets will be stored. Now, let us confirm this new folder for monitoring. And save. As there are existing mail items within this folder, it will prompt me if to raise tickets from the existing emails to share a point. I will select yes. And now, all the existing emails will be processed and raised as trouble tickets in the issue tracking list. Here they are. From now onwards, this inbox folder is monitored by issue tracker, which means any new email received will be automatically raised to the particular share a point list as a trouble ticket. Let us try sending an email to the support inbox. As you can see, as soon as any email is received, Issue Tracker processes it and generates trouble tickets to the your specified share a point list. What happens when the caller replies to an existing ticket? Let us find out. So without requiring to put much effort, Issue Tracker add in lets you automate the time-consuming process of ticketing and tracking, and allows you to concentrate on resolving the problem of your caller in a timely manner. You can set Issue Tracker to monitor any number of Outlook folders or mailboxes for automatic live publishing. You can use my preferences settings to customize and control some aspect of the ticket generation from your Outlook.
For instance, you can set yourself as the responsible technician for new tickets that are generated from your system. You can also set default values for help desk fields that will be assigned to newly generated tickets. In this option, after a trouble ticket is raised from an email, you can choose to move it to a subfolder or to your chosen folder in Outlook. This might be useful if you want to separate emails related to Help Desk from your other private emails. Now, let us explore the Outlook views that comes with Issue Tracker add-in. As we know, Outlook views are a wonderful tool to automatically sort, quickly find information, and rapidly rearrange Outlook items in any folder. In every Outlook mail folder, Issue Tracker automatically adds four special Outlook views to help organize, sort, and track Outlook emails in a simpler and sensible way. For example, in this special view, the Outlook mail items are arranged by the unique ID of the SharePoint ticket item in descending order. The SharePoint ticket list name and site URL are also available in the view. Similarly, in this Outlook view, all the Outlook mail items are grouped by the SharePoint ticket list name. Along with the list name, you will see the subtotal number of mail items in that group under the bracket. This view groups Outlook mail items by the SharePoint ticket site URL. Lastly, with this view, all the Outlook mail items are first grouped by the SharePoint ticket site URL and then further subgrouped by the SharePoint ticket list name. This gives you a hierarchical tree representation of all Outlook mail items organized and summarized in a better way. So, we have learned that Issue Tracker in Outlook makes it very easy and effortless to raise or escalate trouble tickets from your Outlook emails to SharePoint. And because SharePoint is used for trouble tickets collection and collaboration, it is highly scalable. And because of users' familiarity with Microsoft Outlook and SharePoint, it requires no special training or skill sets, resulting in a high rate of user adoption in the organization. This concludes this video demonstration on how to use Issue Tracker add-in in Outlook.